Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Sabrina, and today we're continuing on with Murder by Number. I'm gonna go back to investigate some more, and let's see what else there is. Because I'm surprised there is so many. Okay, and we haven't checked the building at all. On the fence? Hmm. It's a smaller puzzle. Okay. I don't even know if this is right. Two. Mm. Okay. One. Oh. Okay, maybe. But then here. It's okay, because that's two now. So that's one. So three. And so this is three. And this is two. And this is four. And that's four. No, that has to be a one. That has to be a three. Ah, oh, no, that doesn't work. What about that? Two? No, but that has to be a one. Mm. Um. Hmm. Okay, one second. Let me re reset the puzzle. Okay. 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 We got this. Um, so we know- I have a sneaky suspicion after doing that once. This should be more towards the middle. I'm not sure if that's where it's supposed to be or it should be moved over, but that's where I'm gonna put it. Four. Two. There I am doing steps again. Uh. Just, it's my natural instinct now just to do like wherever I can put steps just just put steps like that's just my natural instinct with this game now um, okay so four oh, but, mm, that doesn't work oh no that does work I just miscounted Ooh. okay that, that, that one one two okay looking good All right. That'll be my one. Um, again, my, I just, I, I want to do this. I just, I want to do that so bad. But it's a one that I'm looking for here. Um, I honestly don't know. 
I need another one here. And then I need a two. Then I need a four. Oh, wait. That doesn't work. There, maybe. And here. And then there. Oh, but that is. If, oh. There we go. That works. Um, now I need a three. Wait. Wait. Oh, fuck. Okay. I need another one, though. If I put that there... Where does the other one go? Okay, so maybe this one's in the wrong place? And maybe this has to move up? Uh, seems to have been the right play. What is that? It looks like a sloth. I found a broken dial. Okay. The glass cover of the speedometer has been smashed. Something must have hit it, uh, hit it when the float crashed into the club. Or someone, perhaps the driver. It's certainly a possibility. Now we need to question. Let's start with KC. Babe, isn't that just awful? What happened here? What the hell happened here? Your guess is as good as mine. I was in the area and decided to swing, swing by. Fran mentioned to me. So she had the place done up. So I thought I'd take a look at the outside at least. But when I got here, well, this is what I found. Fran? I have a feeling that's a name you've mentioned before. Fran Tassa. She owns the place. She's also my drag mother. Of sorts. Oh my god. Sorry, I was trying to click with the other hand. I could not find any records in my dad and face for drag mother. Ah, right. Hard to explain. When I first came to the States, I didn't know anyone. I landed in LAX with makeup palette under one arm and a full head of dreams. Then hit, reality hit hard, and it hit hard. I met Fran in a club one night. She took me under her wing. And that's when I learned what drag queens will do f for help with their makeup. Even adopted a lost British gay boy. I see... So she is like a mother figure to you, but not a blood relation. I thought you had to do drag to be in a drag family. I know, I know. But it does seem a waste not to use the cheekbones for prof profit, doesn't it? I don't know. I think doing makeup on other people is my calling. And a drag family full of people who need makeup on them pretty much every day. So it worked out. They were my support network back when I couldn't get a job to save my life. Fran and her sisters put me up, kept me fed, spread the word. Everything I have is thanks to the kindness of the queens. Since things blew up with Murder Miss Terry and the other regular work, though, I have not seen much of them as I used to or should do. Where's Fran right now? Just called her before I spoke with you. She's not turned up yet, though. It always takes her at least an hour and a half to get ready. Though, so she's probably mid-beat as we speak. But her club's just been smashed into, into. Surely she wouldn't spend that long on. Ed likes to draw a line between club life and the rest of his life. Drag only when on premises. Oh, right. 
Ed is Fran's boy name. Edward Tinker. Tinker by name, Tinker by tra nature. He mends metal. He mends metal instruments. When he he is a man of many talents. No, a tinker is British slang for. You know what? It doesn't matter. Megalins. Kind of a we a weird name for a gay bar, isn't it? Well, it's not strictly a gay bar. How did Fran describe it? Something like Megalins a port in the storm for those exploring the stormy seas of gender. That's a family-friendly reason behind the name, anyways. Are you a regular? I mean, knowing the owner's got to be good for some free drinks, right? Fran hasn't owned it for that long. The bar has been here for years. She only took it over recently. I came here for the big party she threw to celebrate her new venture. But I, I haven't been back since. Passport. We identified the victim. His name's Oliver L'Oreal? doesn't ring a bell but then again i'm not a regular so i don't know many of the customers you don't think it could you know a homophobic attack do you we don't know if uh, he was a customer here could just be a random hit and run yeah i suppose you're right a wheel sneaker a sneaker sorry babe my head's all over the place why are you showing me this for all right we're gonna go back, we're gonna go back, and let's talk with a detective. Humph, I should have known he'd call you. Nice to see you too, Detective Cross. If I told you two to stop sticking your nose in and go home, what are the chances you'll actually do it? An estimated chance, approximately 0.00001%. That does, however, factor in a small margin of error. Would that margin of error happen to be 0.0001%? Bingo! I can't even manage to be mad at you two anymore. Fine! Suppose you did a pretty good job last time. The crime scene team have just finished up anyways. You can help out, but cause any trouble, and so God help me. Do you have any idea what happened? It looks like a fairly standard hit and run. Well, except they left the vehicle behind. So I guess it's a literal run. Also, the vehicle is a giant stiletto. So, on balance, pretty far from your standard hit and run. This is your first death by stiletto? You don't want me to answer that question. Trust me. What do you know about this club? I'd have thought it would be more questions of your friend over there. I do not- I do not understand. What do you mean by that? He means it's a gay club. And he, being an old straight man, wouldn't know anything about that. Less of the old, thanks. But you're not wrong. This isn't something I know much about. What do we know about the victim? He had some idea on him. I'm surprised Robo Boy hasn't found it yet. Wait, you're letting us take a look at the scene, crime scene? Forensics has ever already been and gone, you, and I already inspected the scene, so there's nothing you, for you to mess up. At this early stage of the investigation, it's important to consider everything, every piece of evidence, every hypothesis. So, sure, knock yourself out. Come back here and show me everything you find, but we'll see what your conclusions are. Do we have any suspects at this point? Well, the only person with any connection of the incident so far is the friend of yours. Casey? You don't think he did, did you? I'll keep an open mind in the stage of the investigation. I suggest you do the same. But he called but he called it in. He did. And then he called you. Are you trying to imply something, Doctor Detective Cross? There'll be time for implications later. Right now, it's about finding as much as, as we possibly can. No matter how innocuous it may turn out to be yep so the victim 
Yep, that's the victim, all right. Oliver L'Oreal. I've radioed his name into the station. They're going to get back once they have more information for me. We found the sneaker, Detective Cross. I have a hypothesis. The presence of only one sneaker could indicate our perpetrator has only one leg. I, I don't think that's very likely. But you said we must consider every hypothesis. Did I say every hypothesis? I meant every credible hypothesis. Oh, no. Not what I meant to do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nowhere on the treads. There's no marks on the floor. Looks like they didn't try and slow down. That's what I said. And when did you think... What do you think that means? The dial on the shoe's dashboard was smashed. Indeed it was. What do you think that means? Hypothesis. The driver of the shoe collided with the dashboard on impact. Not bad. One to keep in mind, for sure. There's really nothing else that we got. Well, what do you think? The vehicle hit the club on purpose. The lack of wearing, wear on the flat tires, plus the absence of skin marks, points to that. Indeed they do. What about the victim? Do you think it was deliberate? I do not believe we can make a call on that either way. None of the evidence suggests it was deliberate, but neither does anything prove it was accidental. Good. It's important not to jump to conclusions. We can work on theories, and they have to be grounded in real evidence. So, what ne- Oh, how do I do this? <laughs> okay. I've listened to a lot of drag. They all have distinct voices, though. Why do I want to give her, like, more of a lower voice? Like... Not, like, gravelly, just... What in the... Yeah, I like that. What in the... It's even worse than I imagined. Varan! Oh, it's terrible! Thanks, Trizan, you were in there. I'm Detective Cross, investigating officer. I appreci that appreciate you've only just arrived, but I'd like to ask you a few questions if you'd like. If I may, er, miss, uh... You can call me Fran. And I'm sure... And sure, let's head inside, shall we? New location discovered. Bar. I can't believe it. Just look at this place. Okay. We've got an officer at the victim's address. He's bringing over some items of interest. I'm going to wait outside. Honor. Find out what you can from Miss uh, Taisa. Taisa. Honestly, just call me Fran. Uh, right, okay. Honor, perhaps we should take a look around inside too. We shall. I like Fran. Or maybe we should talk with Fran. Okay, we're gonna... Can I exit out of this? I like... Here, let's talk with... Let's talk with Fran first, because I just looked over at the time, it was like 18 minutes. I'm like, oh, no. Well, there goes my no-claim bonus. My name's Honor Mizrahi. I'm, de I'm helping Detective Cross out with his investigations. And I'm Scout. Oh, I know who you are. I've been watching Murder Miss Terry since Casey got the job there. It's nice to have a celebrity in my little club. Actually, you're not the first, but you're the first to have not been on the down low, if you catch my drift. Excuse me, but what is a down low? Oh right, Scout, sometimes people go to gay or lesbian or whatever choose to hide. Sorry, sometimes people who that are gay or lesbian or whatever choose to hide it. And then they come to places like ours, kind of let the pressure off a little, but they try and keep it to be discreet about it. I still cannot understand why humans pretend to be things that they are not. 
It's complicated, doll. Sometimes it's just easier that way. Anyways, I'm Fran Tassia. It's a pleasure to meet you. If only it could have been under better circumstances. You're the proprietress of this club, right? Sure am. Although in some ways, it still feels strange to hear people say that. It's not been long since I took, over, took it over, really. Before that, I was just your average gigging about drag queen. And this was one of my regular jaunts. Fast forward a few years, and I own the place. Life sure is strange, huh? Can you think of any reason why anyone would want to damage your property? None specifically. We normally get on pretty well with everyone in the neighborhood, even if our clients can be a little rowdy when they leave. Of course, not everyone is quite as enlightened. It's sad, but acts of violence are committed against our community frequently. That'd be my first guess. Do you, uh, if you don't mind me asking, why did it take so long to get here after Casey called you? Well, I had to get ready, didn't I? It takes effort and a ton of concealer to look as good as uh, good at this time of day. Plus, I walked here in heels. Would you normally be in drag this early in the day? Hell no. Drag hurts. I, norm I wouldn't normally come to the club until late afternoon. I tend to at least get the basic beat look together before coming here see then only i have to top up or do outfit change changes during the night this this is a basic look oh honey you don't even know casey looks terrible he's really worried about you he's a sweet one isn't he you know it's thanks to him that my makeup is so flawless he taught me a lot. He mentioned he helped you out when he, uh, he mentioned you helped him out when he first got to LA. He was lost. I could tell the second I saw him. He just had this air of someone who should have been should have filled the room with their presence, but they were holding back. At first, I assumed he was a wannabe queen, but that it wasn't that. He was angerless, so I figured I'd help him out, just like my drag mother helped me. I'm glad you did. I don't know where I'd be without Casey. Actually, scratch that. I do know where I'd be. Still stuck in a toxic marriage. Well, that sounds like a story. All right. So that's it with my conversations, and I need to investigate. In the next episode, we will investigate the bar. But with that being said, I do want to thank you all so much for watching. Sorry for my horrid voices. But they're fun. All right. I'm going to leave that here for you now. Again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.